All right, Troy. I uh, got to see the best backyard in Corvallis. I want the rest of the country to see it, man. You did a ton of work. Talk about what you had to do here. I'm going to give people a quick view. It's not the biggest backyard in Corvallis. That's not what I'm saying. But it's the best. It's probably there's the most work put into it. Talk about how you got all this dirt and all this everything in here. Well, the good thing about being a coach is you got cheap labor. You know? <laughs> and, you know, it happened to be when we had our backyard was unfinished and uh, it was in the middle of the summer and I, I wanted to get it finished before uh, we started getting things going again here. And Heinrich just moved into town and uh, was getting ready for the world championships. And uh, he asked if I'd work out with him. I said, I will. I'll, we'll go in and we'll work out in the morning. And we'll we'll come back in the afternoon I'll, we'll go we'll go twice a day I said but I do need to get something done before <laughs> before school gets going again you get some cheese. I said the good thing is the good thing is is uh, it's my last project but the bad thing is you're the only guy here so Heinrich came out probably thinking what the hell did I get myself into here <laughs> because he came out and we had two dump truck fulls of dirt about 20 yards of dirt sitting out on the street out here oh man and uh, and a one dump truck full of uh, rock, and Heinrich and I wheelbarrowed it in here, and and then I had Pasco and Perkins and guys out here that helped. We leveled it out and put sprinkler system in, put sod in, and it's a it it's like a, a really work. nice backyard. Yeah. It was a lot of work, and you know, without their help, I would have been. I'd probably still be here doing it. And, and you had a crazy dilemma back here in this yard. Back here, actually, there's a fire pit over here. What did you have going on over here that you had to kind of work well, with? Well, there was, a, there was uh, underground springs here, natural springs that basically were right underneath this fire pit that were hiding it with the fire pit. But uh, that was a way that I kind of got rid of the problem or hid the problem. So was it but, swampy kind of like? Yeah, it was. It was mud. It was a. It was a pool. So it you know it comes basically the water drains in under there and funnels out on each side. But I could have did that or probably tapped it and just started bottling my own water. But, Steiner bottle. But I decided to do that, and uh, it, it's turned out good. And you got a little, there's a little play area for your kids. And yeah. It, but you leveled all this. Like, you hauled all this dirt in and yeah. did all this wall, right? Yeah, well, the, the main wall was finished. But everything else was, you know, we put, put the dirt in and... And uh, the sprinkler system and the sod and you know. but most of the, actually this lower level here, it doesn't even need the spring. The sprinklers are turned off because this never needs watering because of the natural springs. So this whole area right here never gets water. Huh. It's just it's it comes from underneath. And we got to have a fire last night too. Yeah, that was we nice, man. Fire. Got to see some of the old alum and yeah, that was, was nice, man. We spent a lot of time out there. Now this is the. In Corvallis from uh, May to October, it's the time to be here. You can't beat it, when it you know, during this time. It's, there's no humidity, no bugs. Temperature 75 to 90. It's, it's nice. You got a loud dump truck, yeah. you know, stuff like that too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Troy, thanks for the, uh, for seeing the, let us see the, uh, the nicest backyard here in Corvallis, man.